all. Today we will be looking at how we can install and use our own fonts in Canva. If you look around, there are so much competition nowadays. So many top-notch designers, so many, so many people are using Canva nowadays. So how do I stand out? What can I do that will make uh, my designs stand out? Let's find out in this video. First of all, you will need a Canva Pro account for this. If you are yet to get a Pro account, pause the video right now, click on the description box below and click on the 30 day free Canva Pro trial link. You can try out this feature and many more for 30 days without any commitment. So that now we are all on the same page, let's start. When you log in via Canva, you will see a brand kit on the left hand side of the page. Click on it. Okay, just scroll it down and uh, click on the brand kit. You can do a lot of things here to make your life easier while working on your projects or designs. You can upload your logo, your brand colors and fonts. Okay, these are some of the brand colors that I have uploaded. I have done a video on how you can uh, change the colors and uh, pick the colors. Uh, I will link up the video here. Now let's uh, focus on fonts. Okay, when I click on the uploaded fonts, I am able to see all the fonts that I have uploaded under this brand kit. And I'm going to upload uh, another font over here. Uh, if you do not have a new font that you want to upload or don't know where you can find the fonts, you can try out Creative Fabrica. I have given the link in the description box below. Go there and choose a font you like. You will have to purchase the font at Creative Fabrica. Or you can create an account and download unlimited number of fonts and other stuff from Creative Fabrica for a much lower price. Or you can simply type in free fonts and search in Google. Be careful and check the license information if you want to use the free fonts for commercial purposes. In Creative Fabrica, there is a huge library of fonts. Browse through and choose something that you like. I think I'm going to choose the banana pudding. That looks very cute. Okay, let's uh, click on the banana pudding. Okay, you can uh, look at the graphics, they will show you what are the glyphs or what are the variations available and how it will look on different letterings. Uh, okay, you can download, uh, it stated that the commercial usage is allowed. Be sure to read the terms though. I have an account to, uh, in Creative Fabrica so I have access to unlimited download of all the creatives on uh, their website. So I'm going to download it. It's a zip file so I have to unzip it and uh, once uh, that is done, I will have to go to my library of fonts and install it. Okay, this is a mess but uh, yeah, but all the fonts are there anyway. So I'm just going to open where I have downloaded the font and I'm just going to drag and drop them in my font library okay just click on it and uh, you don't have to install it over here if you just want to upload it to canva but i want it to be available in my system so i'm just going to upload it in my library okay now uh, once we are here you can just go to the upload fonts go to your fonts library folder or you can do it from the download itself or but since I've already dragged it might as well go to the library of fonts okay, okay click on fonts and here they are just drag it and just click on upload now they will ask you to confirm if you have the right to use so just say upload upload away and uh, voila you have it in your canva brand kit so now you are able to use this font for all your Canva projects. Okay, maybe we can try uploading another font also because this one does not have as much glyphs as I would have liked. Maybe let's try Hello Helentia. This looks very swirly. Maybe we can try it out. Okay, let's uh, just browse and see the variations we can do. Yeah, they have a bit of a glyph here and there. 
yeah, we can do quite unique designs with this font. Okay, I think I will download this. Click on download. Here also commercial usage is allowed, but be sure to read the terms. I'm going to unzip it and, and uh, from here I will just drag and drop. Uh, okay, this one, uh, apart from the fonts, they have the extra glyphs. It's actually in a different OT OTF and TTF file. Okay, let's just uh, drag them to my library of forms. Or maybe we can just try and uh, try and upload from the download. It's not here, so okay, let's go to the downloads and then click on it and you can just drag and drop it. If you just want the OTF file, just download the OTF file. If you want the TTF file, just upload that. It doesn't make a difference as far as I have realized, so uh, nothing, nothing much. So just upload it, whatever, whichever your system supports, just upload it. Okay, so now we have all these in our font. Okay, maybe I'm having duplicates. Okay, let's just uh, create a design and see how they show up. If you want the link to the fonts I've downloaded, you can click on the link in the description box below. Okay, let's start with our design. I'm going to do an Instagram post. So let's just wait for it to load. Okay, click on text. I'm going to add a heading and uh, we're just going to type maybe a happy birthday. Okay, let's try our first. Okay, when you scroll, you can scroll. When you scroll, it will be on the top portion. So you don't have to you know, scroll all the way down to find. So this is how our font will look when we actually use it. Okay, let's copy and paste. This is the pudding. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste the same uh, text and I'm going to change it over here. Okay, so this is the Hello Helentia font. Now we want to try and use our glyphs. Okay, so glyphs, I'm going, just going to do another text box. Okay, hold on, sorry. Okay, I'm just going to add another heading and I'm going to change the font to the glyph uh, Hello Helen Shia font so that um, we can just uh, use uh, try and use it. Okay, I'm just going to type Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Alright, I have chosen the Hello Helen Shia glyph Found. Okay, so these are all the variations I'm getting when you type. Just just type and uh, choose the one that you want and you can use it as you like. Okay, so once I have it, I can just use it. So uh, what this does is it actually gives uh, your letterings a bit of an edge. It will stand out, it will make it different from the rest of the people. So uh, there are many many fonts in Creative Fabrica and uh, you just have to browse around and find what you like. Okay, let's just play around with it and have some fun. Then I will show you another method how we can add glyphs and I will show you another font which I really really like and um, I use quite I use it quite a lot. Okay, as you can see, we can play around uh, with that font and uh, get uh, various results. Now I'm going to add another page and I'm going to uh, use another font. I'll show you another font which I had already uploaded. Not these two, but another one. Just type in happy birthday and I'm going to choose the font from here. Okay, it will be here. It's called Lovely Script Regular. It has a lot of glyphs that I can use. and. Uh, I will show you how you can use it. Uh, once when you're typing it, it won't show up. You have to go to your font book in order for you to see it. So go to your library, just click on the fonts and click. Uh, just find your font. Mine is the lovely script. Just double click on it and it will bring up the font book. From there, you can browse around and see the variations uh, of the fonts. Okay, the little swirls. It will be some. Some will be on the right. Some will be on the left. You will have little swirls, beautiful swirls on top, and uh, you can actually uh, create various, various variations. You know, uh, and uh, you can have just uh, just have a lot of fun uh, playing around with the glyphs. 
So let's uh, try and create something uh, creative with this uh, happy birthday. How, uh, let's see how we can uh, transform this simple looking happy birthday uh, calligraphy into something that is a bit more uh, fun, a bit more, um, how do you say, uh, maybe, you know, like uh, typography worthy. There is nothing much to it. You just have to open up your phone book. Just uh, click on the glyph that you want to use, command uh, C or just copy and then go over to your Canva website and just uh, paste it in the text box and then just arrange it. It will just flow. The, the letterings will just flow with one another. If they're not in one way or another, they are not flowing uh, together, then maybe you can just uh, try another glyph. But uh, this uh, in the same font family, they will always uh, uh, flow. Just keep it simple for uh, example purposes. So, see a uh, simple happy birthday now actually uh, like changed into something that is a bit more. Uh, it, it looks a bit more handwritten and a little bit more fun. Uh, if they, if you think they are like too further apart, maybe you can use uh, the cunning and then bring them closer. Okay, this one looks nice. Play around with the glyphs, uh, guys. It's uh, really, really fun. Okay, I'm using the cunning to just bring them closer together. And yeah, now I can just change the color or do whatever I want with it. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.